are at a packed house at Shaw. It is insane. It's like a concert. And we're talking about neutral is not enough, which I guess everyone is interested in. Neutral is not enough. We really started talking about neutral is not enough specific to carbon. That's where we really invested our energy and resources is reducing that overall carbon footprint. So over the last five years, we've reduced it 62%. All of us need to come together and get off the sidelines. Yeah. Stop being neutral. I love that. I love that. It. It's a holistic approach. Let's go see why it's not enough. Come on, everybody. So I'm with my good friend, Reese, and Natalie mentioned how neutral is not enough when it comes to material health. It's important that all of our products really are assessed by cradle to cradle, and we know that those are healthy materials for the built environment, and Cultura fits into that story perfectly. We ask ourselves, like, who has a vibrant culture, and what better than Oaxaca, Mexico? Yeah. Lively, deep-rooted traditions, these artisan crafts that really bring people together. We did some beautiful weaving workshops with families, learned about how they pass on that to their children. So it all sort of complements the space and reflects that culture. Yeah, great. All right, show me some of it, okay? We're standing on two styles, Alban, which was really inspired by the Monte Alban, which wow. is a beautiful Zapotec ruins up on the hill. Wow, you can, yes, you can see it. Above the city. Yeah. Um, Crossweave is a great, very attainable price point carpet tile that really reflects the weaving, multiple yarns that flow within product. This one is so beautiful, might be my favorite. Yeah, this is Valle. I would say this is a, that mixture of landscape and weaving in this beautiful compilation that really layers together. Um, it's one of our rug and broadloom styles. It does look like a tapestry. Yes. It really, really does. So this is our LVT. Um, really thinking about how styles kind of can co-mingle together. There's yeah. two styles, crossing paths and in unison, and we kind of mix those together to show how you can mix these styles. I love that. This is another rug called Braided, which also kind of feeds off of that tapestry of weaving. Beautiful colors. We wanted the palette to really like feel authentic to the region. Yeah. And those sun-baked kind of yellows and warm terracottas. So beautiful, the colors. And yeah. the agave green. So Fantastic. You are at Neocon with your first rug collection. This is incredible. It is. It's, it's my first Neocon as well. Oh my God. What does it feel like? It feels amazing yeah. to be able to see some of these ideas come to life. Oh my God. Happy 50th anniversary, right? For yes, yes, yes. Unbelievable. This line is inspired by those 50 years. So we took one of the elements of hip hop and digested what it means, look at the textures, the patterns, right. and extracted those, and we dedicated one rug to each one of the five elements. So let's reveal the five, okay? All right. So the first one is DJ, yeah? Yes, All right, yes. here we go. All right, so with DJ, what we did was we looked at how DJs in the early 70s and 80s would carry records ah. in milk crates. Oh, and that, right. that top-down view of those spines of I records. I love that. And one of the unique things that DJs did, they would take sandpaper and they would shave off the names of the albums so that no other DJ could steal their samples. Ah. So this idea is showing those patterns and textures from and that, that top-down view. And too, right? Exactly, yeah. right? And moving on to the, the next one. Yeah, is, what's number two? Number two will be graffiti. Graffiti, okay. So with graffiti, uh, our idea here was looking at the, the layers, the, the textures, as yeah. multiple pieces are placed on the same surface. You can see the older pieces still peek through some of those yeah. new uh, pieces that go up. So this one was one that was uh, a little bit more obvious as far as the inspiration, it was graffiti. This is definitely uh, one of my favorite pieces uh -huh. from the collection, looking, That's at, great. looking at graffiti. Number three is MCN. Yeah, MCN. So, so MC, you know, it, it's the element that most people are familiar with when it comes to hip hop. We wanted to look at the, the complexity behind the composition of rap music. Yeah. Right? So being able to extract some of those patterns and textures cadences, uh, which is 
an essential tool that we teach all young people at our hip hop architecture camp. It's fantastic. Breakdancing. This, yeah. this is breaking. Yeah. You know, early breakdancers, I mean, they literally were creating their own floor. So we looked at the um, kind of the wearing and the, the process of, of markings yeah. after dancing, after stepping on it. So that is where you start to see these corrugations starting to come through. Some of the, the unique details we added in, you know, whenever there's a, a dance, cypher, a, a battle happening, I just always see circles that form. Ah. I don't know who forms the circles, uh -huh. but somehow we all get in that circle, That's right? so beautiful that this is a circular <laughs> carpet. Yeah, it's so, beautiful. So we added some of those details and here. This, and, you, and the rug is a circle. Exactly. Yeah. And, and our last piece ah, knowledge. is ah, knowledge. Yeah. This is the last element of, of hip hop. And this piece uh, looks at the stories, the, the textures, the patterns that once again are being told yeah. through rap but we oftentimes overlook. The burgundy pieces that you see here, yeah. it's actually the end of one bar oh in a rap goodness. song. You know, this is one that really makes this real for me because it's an image that I've shown after so many lectures around the oh world. Oh my God. I oftentimes ended my lectures uh, with this piece. Nothing like a good collaboration at yeah. Shaw, right? Yes, yes. yes. With my four, yeah. amazing. It was yeah. incredible. Well, I love that you have something else to continue to inspire them to, right? Yes, yes, that's what it's all about. Happy 50th for the anniversary of hip hop. Yes, yes. Thank you for doing the camps, amazing, and for all your work. Well, thank you, thank you for covering it. Thanks to Reese and your team. Yes. And I hope everybody enjoys the collection as they see it some more.